Full story, a year ago, I, 27F, broke up with my lying boyfriend, 27M. Today, I found out that everyone else was lying and he was being truthful. Original post October 28, 2015. A year ago, I was about to move in with my first serious boyfriend, Josh, with whom I was head over heels in love, when one of my closest friends said that Josh had shown them a nude photo of me on his phone when he was drunk during a party. Five or six more of my friends corroborated the story and told me that Josh also talked in extreme detail about our sex life when showing the photo. It was sickeningly detailed. This did not sound at all like Josh. When I asked him what the fuck was going on, he denied everything. He eventually got very angry and started calling all of my friends liars. At one point, he showed up at my place while some of them were visiting and things got a little physical. It was really a very strange turn of events in my life. Josh seemed so worked up and all of my close friends were calling him a liar. Josh had taken photos of me on his phone, which I know was stupid but heat of the moment and everything. So I trusted my friends and I broke up with Josh. It was heart-wrenching. Josh begged me to believe him. He started tearing up, nearly punched the wall, and left angrily. I was really grossed out at the time and felt super conflicted. A few months later, I started dating one of the friends, Alex, who had told me about Josh showing everyone the photo. All of my friends were pushing me to date Alex at the time. We didn't really sync and it didn't go past a few months, but we remain friends of sorts. So today, another friend sends me a message that says he just wanted to get something off his chest. The story about Josh wasn't true and were really trying to get me to date Alex, so they made up that story about Josh. After talking to a few of the other people, including Alex, it's all come out that they were lying. It was this fucking orchestrated bullshit event that totally changed my life forever. Apparently, they hated Josh and thought he was bad for me and an asshole. That was my fucking decision. I'm shaking right now. I cried in the office bathroom for about two hours afterwards. I loved Josh so much. We were planning a life together. And I've been friends with that group since high school. What the fuck? I guess I'm supposed to stop talking to my uh, friends I right? I cannot possibly come back from this and still talk to them, right? This basically nukes my group of friends. But how could I ever even look at them again? Also, I need closure with Josh. Can I call him? Should I call him? Should I unblock him on Facebook and message him? What do I do? Update November 6, 2015. Even though everyone seemed to think this was a terrible idea, I sent Josh an email on Friday. I copied it here. Josh. I don't know if you are still connected to anyone on Facebook, but if you are, you probably already know why I am sending this. And I know it is totally unfair and selfish to contact you, but I cannot imagine going through the rest of my life without apologizing. So before I say a bunch of embarrassing things, more than anything, I want to say that I am sorry I did not trust you. I am sorry I let other people decide our relationship. I am sorry for what I put you through. But I figure this might be my only chance to say this, so here comes the really lame, embarrassing stuff. I spent the past day thinking about the past year, where I would be if I had believed you, what my life would be like. Would we be engaged? Would we be married? I'm not over you. I want to try again. I'm not asking you to marry me, but if you ever find yourself thirsty, I would love to buy you a beverage of your choice. I want to talk to you again. I miss everything about our relationship. I miss you getting annoyed when I stole your french fries. I miss fighting with you over money. I miss making you breakfast. I miss watching The Office with you over and over and over. I miss you. My information is still the same. I would not blame you if you ignored and deleted this. Just know that I know. I am really sorry. So I sent it and tried to take my mind off of it. Just writing it and sending it was extremely cathartic. I spent Saturday morning sitting around watching a old movies when someone rang my doorbell. Assuming it was Amazon, I ignored it and waited for the delivery driver to leave so that I could sneak out and grab the package. I was in my robe. After a minuter or two, I walked over to the door and looked through the hole. It was Josh. Obviously, my heart leapt into my throat. I had been compulsively checking my phone for a response, but I was not expecting something like that. Everything in my house, including me, was pretty disheveled. I cracked the door, smiled, said hi, and told him that I had to get dressed really quick. What a terrible interaction. So I ran around my place throwing shit into corners, pulled my hair back, found something to wear, and went back to the door. I'm here for that beverage. I only had OJ and water, which was also pretty embarrassing, but Josh stuck around anyways. He didn't ask many questions really. I started to talk about the nude photo incident, but he said he didn't really care to talk about it. We both know all of the details now. The conversation eventually grew a bit aimless and we were just talking like old times. It was wonderful. He asked if I was hungry. I wasn't really but of course I said I was. 
We went to a nearby burger place that we used to go to all the time. He did ask whether or not I had dated Alex. He didn't seem to upset by my answer. I asked him if he had dated anyone. He had a six-month relationship in the interim. She sounded great but I didn't pry. When we got back to my place, Josh asked what I was doing for the rest of the day. I don't have plans. We spent the rest of the day together, then the night. It's totally stupid to move that fast, but I'm not going to spend much time worrying about it. I'm feeling happy. We spent part of Sunday together too. Then Tuesday. And Wednesday. We discussed what we were doing. Two single people dating each other, was the consensus. Exclusive? Yes. I think the world of him and will always regret what happened. No matter what though, I'm extremely happy I sent the letter to him. It's interesting to think that if he had actually done what everyone accused him of, and then I took him back, I would probably have trust issues. Now, obviously, I trust him to the core. He could tell me the world was flat and I'd have trouble questioning him. Just a weird thought I've been having. So that's the story. We are together again. Will it work out? I hope so. No matter what, things are better today than they were last week.